Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> well, I got to do this. I got to do this message. It's very important because here's the thing about, uh, you know, the topic of the message is the reality of, you know, forgiveness versus bitterness. Forgiveness versus bitterness. Now, one thing God taught me, you know, of course, we know that Jesus went on a cross and, well, he went between the Garden of Gethsemane and a cross was a whole lot of, you know, betrayal, rejection, humiliation, disrespect, disrespected, um, beaten and bruised, uh, mistreatment, all kind of bad things happened between this garden of Gethsemane uh, and the um, uh, the cross. And within that, when he was placed on a cross, the words that comes out of his mouth is, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Now, when God taught me something, well, Jesus' actions taught me something about it. See, first of all, Let's go back to the beginning of of God of Jesus Christ. See, G, the Bible says that you know, well, Jesus came to a place that he was. He see, Jesus was a faithful servant. See what I say? Because that's what's, what's important to understand. He was a faithful servant. Now, let me talk about the servant idea. A servant idea is a person. That takes orders to give. Take orders to give. Not take. You know, it doesn't take it or want something to do with the person. The person is in a place of giving. When you are a servant, you are a place of giving. And you know why you are giving something? Because you are full of something. You already or satisfied, or you already content, you already have what the necessity things you need, you know, kind of like the Spirit of God, you know, and you are God in the flesh, of course, you got everything that you need, you're full of, of faith, you know, you're faithful, you're full, so you don't need anything, you know what I'm saying, you don't need, or you can say the words of King David, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You don't want anything, but you are at a place that you are trying to help fulfill a need than more wanting something. Hope you got that idea. Now, Jesus, faithful. His faith was full. Now he's in a place that he can give something. He's in a place that he can now give forth something because he was faithful. Full of something. Now he got to this place and now he gave, as the song says, gave himself away for humanity to be, you know, saved and, you know, from their sins. He was in a place of gift. And now watch this. When he gave it, now he sits on a cross and now he says the words, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He, he, he has given because he is, was in a position of giving. He would want to be about forgiving. See, giving, forgiving. More likely, God showed me about forgiveness. It's like uh, giving for. See, he gave himself away for humanity because humanity needs it. Because humanity is operating in sin. And the wages of sin is death. And humanity is in a pattern that they believe that, you know, uh, that, you know, they, they, they're a falling nature, more likely. They're, they're operating a falling nature that they're destroying each other and destroying the creation. And the thing is, here's the thing about bitterness. You know what I'm saying? Bitterness is an idea that I want something. It's an idea of emptiness. What produces, no, what produces bitterness, I meant to say, is the idea of understanding that you're empty. You lack something. It's the opposite of full. You're empty. Ha, ha, ha. See that? 
you're empty of something. Therefore, you're frustrated because you're empty. It's a frustration that people have within inside of them that is an echo of the emptiness inside you. That if you feel bitter and angry towards something, you're going to feel that way because you're not filled with the necessary things that you need to truly fulfill the purpose of your life. And the thing is, that is when an occasion that bitterness proceeds is supposed to be the indication, oh, I'm, fit, I'm not filled with something. Uh, I need something that, I need something. See, and the problem is, Satan say, oh, you, you need an earthly solution, you know? You need something earthly. No, you don't need an earthly solution. You need a heavenly solution because a heavenly God blew breath inside you and you became a living soul. Therefore, you need to go to the one that gave you life to make you a living creature to get the proper fulfillment that you need to stop the bitterness. Because bitterness is what creates, you know, the um, negativity and negativity towards other people that are bitter themselves that are empty themselves and not know how to treat and how to reason and how to take care of creation. See, bitterness is, produces that anger and that energy, anger energy, to harm creation, as you can see in the arguments, in the fighting, in all the shenanigans that goes on in our life. It's an indication of emptiness, of the lack of God. As what Jesus said concerning the uh, temple sermon mount or the Beatitudes. Blessed, blessed are those that are lack or poor in spirit. For there is the kingdom of heaven. That people lack something. You know what I'm saying? When you lack something, of course, you, you're going to be angered or frustrated inside of yourself. That you're going to create a bitterness towards something or towards somebody. It could be anybody or anything. And you know, and the sad part about what people don't understand is bitterness can, we people created a monster as much as they don't acknowledge that it's in them, that this bitter monster, you start hurting people that love you. You start hurting the people that's trying to help you. You start hurting people that, you know, did not do anything, nothing to do with you being a bitter person. You know what I'm saying? It's a monster. That when you keep this bitterness inside you, that you become a monster. And, you know, bitterness becomes a monster that makes you a monster. And now you are angry at everybody, angry at this person, angry at it. And, you know, I tell people when you are angry at people you don't know, you know what I'm saying? You you are, like I did a message every, I do uh, I tell people about, you know, Halloween comes around, I call it, you know. Uh, God are we? I tell people about the story of Jason. You know what I'm saying? Jason, you know, uh, as the character in Friday the 13th, that uh, he was, was a, um, you know, had disability and he drowned in the lake because these, you know, camp leaders were making out on the side of the water and didn't care to save him. You know what I'm saying? But yet, J J Jason get this uncontrollable anger and frustration eventually. And he started killing people. But the thing is, the idea about Jason killing all these people in this camp, he ne probably never got to kill the people that caused him to drown in the first place. See, and that is foolish. You know what I'm saying? You're being showing people that you don't know uh, anger and frustration, you know, ready to cause a fight or anger, mad at the person. But they're not the reason why you're really angry. But the really reason why you're really angry is because you're simple, empty. You lack of the very thing that you need to learn how to, you know, work together and work things out called the Spirit of God that will give you the understanding to help, you know, you reason with people concerning matters between each other, you know, that will bring construction and not destruction. Look, God is all about one thing. One thing only, then anything you need to know is simple. Keeping and taking care of creation. That's what really life is all about. 
keeping and taking care of creation. But when creation is about positioning itself to want to destroy one another, you know, kind of like at Cain and Abel, when, cre when Cain dry, creates this uncontrollable anger to want to kill his brother, not get mad at his brother, it, he killed his brother. Get rid of him, period. This kind of anger, anger is not of what God wants to happen. But the thing is, because it's all about making a create, create, creature and preserving it. It's just that simple. But if you keep in bitterness inside you, you're keeping elements that's all about destruction. And I think, I hope you know that bad things happen when destruction happens. <laughs> you know, it's funny when you see people in anger and rage, they don't realize that, you know, they're destroying something. And when they get off that anger and rage, they look around and say, oh, who, who broke that? Who, who tore this up? <laughs> no, your anger concerning your bitterness, concerning your emptiness inside you, you know, did all the destruction. So the thing is, people that could keep bitterness in their hearts, look, y'all y'all just want this world to get more destroyed. You want the world to be destroyed. You may not think that you don't want people, that you don't want to cause no problems, problems. But uh, no, you do want to cause problems because as much as you keep that bitterness in your heart, you are ready as like a time ticking time bomb to cause a problem to innocent people that is not responsible of the anger and the bitterness that is inside of you. They're not responsible. Either. They didn't go in your heart and create you reasons to get mad and bitter and, and you know, angry and frustrated. No, because you did not understand that you needed the addition of God inside of His Spirit to make you full of faith Faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. You need to be hearing the word of God. But the word of God can make you full of the necessary things you need to really truly be an individual to help better other people. That creation is preserved and we can have a wonderful life with one another. It's the whole agenda of what God is all about. But being bitter is not going to help that agenda to be accomplished. Period. Point blank. But that's the topic of the message. I hope you choose. I hope forgiveness wins when you learn the love of God inside your heart. That you are all about becoming preserving creation and stop being in bitterness. All about being in a position of destroying creation. That's the message. God be the glory. Him forever and ever in His name. Amen. Forgiveness wins. Bitterness. Lose. Oh,